In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most effective passing concepts in Madden 22. This is also one of the most effective passing concepts in Madden 21 and in Madden 20 and in prior years. But most people really aren't taking advantage of this route because I think that they don't really understand exactly how you want to throw it and exactly the combination routes that you can use to get this route open. This route's going to be 30 yard cloud. It's going to be match coverage. It's going to be man to man. It's going to be every coverage in this game as long as you understand not only how to throw it, but also when to throw it where to throw it and what routes to put on the field to help it out so if you're new to the channel my name is cody I want to thank you for clicking on the video and let's get right to it i'm in the detroit lions offensive playbook we'll be taking a look at the play x spot out of trips tied in and we're going to be showing you how you can use this route to get over the top of 30 yard clouds um, and 30 or uh, 30 yard flat zones. We're also gonna be talking about how you can use this to beat man to man. And I also wanna just preface this video with saying that this route is one of the most important routes in trip side in this year. And really not very many people are taking advantage of it. So let's get on the field here. If you wanna learn the rest of my trip side in stuff, I would really encourage you to get my Patreon membership. It's only $10 to sign up and it gets you access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. You got over 25 offensives and defenses available to you over there. In addition to that, we also provide weekly updates that just break down kind of how the meta shifts, little things that you can do each week to, um, to kind of stay on top of that. So if you wanna check that out, that'll be linked in the description. But first things first, I wanna show why uh, most people have gone away from this route. And it really because of this right here. So um, if your opponent runs man to man, one of the things that this route used to be really good about was you could basically motion snap this route and you could do something like this, if you will. Now, the problem, what we're seeing right now is because of motion snapping is not that good and thirds do a much better job this year at sinking on posts than they have in, in previous years, especially routes like this to Scotty Miller um, in particularly. So again, if I were to go to man-to-man -man coverage, let's say I play two purples and then I've got, you know, this route is manned up. Uh, what you're gonna see is this route is gonna have some trouble uh, getting separation against man because of the motion snap. One of the big problems with motion snapping this year is as you can see, there's a delay in the motion snap. And so what happens when you do that is your receiver, the defender actually will get on top of you better this year if you motion snap. It's actually better this year to almost not motion snap, to actually let the receiver set. And I'm gonna show you a really cool tip with letting this receiver set his feet. What you can do, if you take a look here, you're gonna notice that if I motion him to the right all the way across the formation, and I were to let him set his feet right i was to let him let him set up you're gonna see that he is like outside the numbers and he's pretty wide over on the right side the problem that this creates for your for your offense is now he's almost in a position where he's gonna run right into the outside third which i'll show you or to the middle third which i'll show you right here you see how that middle third can play this really well this is why a lot of people have stopped using this route this is one of the best routes in trips i in and not very many people are using it okay so now what i want to show you is a little trick that you can do you can do this with your trips to the wide side of the field you can also do this if your trips are to the short side of the field it's going to put them in a little bit of a different position but this is my favorite tip to tell people with this route it's going to make it a lot better so what i like to tell people is what you want to do is you actually want to motion scotty miller to the outside so to the trip side you're going to see he's going to run a hidden motion and what's going to happen with this hidden motion is now he is basically in a different position which is going to allow his route to run across the formation much smoother and he's going to be able to get to the other side uh, without stopping which is another big problem with this route so you see he's going to run across now the third can't get there and as you can see this route almost i'm, I'm just telling you from experience this route will beat man to man you have to understand how to throw it it's an outside pass lead a bullet pass and almost every single time no matter what they do from a man-to-man -man perspective this route can be very very effective so again you can set up whatever com concepts you want off and i'm going to show you something in a second that's really powerful but if you just watch here you're going to see that this post unless you i mean obviously if you get shedded you get shedded um but this post is going to be very effective against man to man Okay, now I'm gonna show you how, how we can use this to beat zone in just a second, but I just wanna show you one more time. So like if they're playing man-to-man -man coverage, 
this route is very consistent against man. So you could run something like this if you want to. Um, you can kind of do whatever you want. But what you'll see is, again, this is kind of like tight slots. And you see how consistent that is at getting into a really unique position on the defense. So now what I wanted to do is I wanted to share with you how this can be uh, in routes that you want to put around it to be able to beat zone coverage. So if your opponent is playing a significant amount of zone coverage, this is my favorite way to deal with it. Basically what we're going to do here is I'm gonna show you how to beat every zone with this route and it's really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to motion to the left and then really important, you want to, I personally like to block my tight end the reason I want to do that is because it's going to, number one, it's going to help with protection. So every blitz is going to get picked up. And number two, it's going to make it so that your, your quarterback's going to have um, just a more simple read and more time. And the routes aren't going to rub off of one another. And you're going to just see it's a little bit more, um, just a little bit more clean of a concept. Then I like to wheel my running back. You don't have to do this one. You can do whatever you want with your running back. I like the wheel because it's the only route in the game, in my opinion, that can literally beat every single coverage if they don't use it. So what the wheel is designed to do is it's designed to pull the user. If you wanted to put your tight end on a flat, you could do that as well. Um, I like to block the tight end for the additional protection. So we got the running back on the wheel. Then what we want to do is streak our slot, Chris Godwin. We got a nice seam streak right here. This is what's going to allow us to be able to get over the top of the 30-yard cloud and at the same time get underneath the deep blues because he's going to clear a lot of space for us. Now, this backside guy, you can actually leave him on his spot route, but what I like to do is drag him. That's going to bring him over the middle. He's going to be a great playmaker option. And he's basically our check down. So you see this simple play right here, very simple. Um, but what I love about this play, if you watch this route to triangle, you want to throw this with the pass lead up right about there, pass lead up and outside. And you're going to see that he's going to be able to consistently get over the top of a 30 yard cloud. Now, one of the things you might notice with this route, and I'm just going to you know show you real quick here um, because I think it's really important is you might say, you know, the route is the route's not working for me. It's stopping in the middle of the route. That's another reason why people have stopped using this. It's because they don't know how to throw it. So you see here, he's going to stop right before he gets to the numbers if you're on the wide side of the field. Now, if you're on the short side, it's a little bit different. So be sure to test that and make sure I'm just telling you this route will literally beat every zone in the game if you understand how to throw it. And that's um, that's what I want to really you know kind of emphasize here. So what you want to do is you want to throw this route and you can actually throw it in kind of a couple different points um, because of the seam streak. You'll see that if the user doesn't guard it, you can throw that right here. And when you click on, you want to make sure, especially if you're in the middle of the field like that, you really want to make sure that you are aggressive catching the route so that the corner, so that the safety won't animate um, and pick it off. That's a really important tip with this route and it's something you really need to understand. Now, what's going to happen a lot of times is they're going to lurk this route about to right here and then they're going to come down on the drag. Okay, that's kind of the primary thing. So just imagine, if you will, that that route is covered for the first half of the route. I'm going to try to illustrate that by dropping this guy into a mid read. But it's pretty, you know, again, just trust me, that's about what they're going to do typically. Okay. So what you want to be prepared for is that user alert concept. And it's essentially you can either hit your drag right in the middle of the field or you can wait on this and throw this right there. And as you can see, um, the outside third is not going to play that. And then I want to show you real quick. I think it's really important that you see, um, you know, what it looks like from a cover two perspective. Uh, if they're in a cover two defense, this is uh, pretty decent because again, it just emphasizes this high lobe over the middle of the field. So Savage, um, their user, this will kind of illustrate what I'm getting at from the uh, perspective of they're going to use it and then they're going to come back down to the drag very common user lurk for this this concept if they don't come down to the drag throw the drag if they don't come down to the drag throw the drag obviously the wheel is open too but i'm going to throw it and i want to throw it right about there you see that that's going to get over that 30 yard cloud and the deep half won't be able to play it now one other thing i want to quickly point out about a 30 yard cloud concept if they're running a cover three a true 
cover three Mabel coverage. Um, you're going to notice a little bit of a nuance between the, between a cover three and a cover two. The biggest difference between the two coverages is the cover two is going to look a little bit more shady. It's going to look a little bit more covered. Um, you'll see that this 30 yard cloud is never going to get there. And again, that aggressive catch is really, really, really important. Um, and that, so that was a cover three. And then let me just show you real quick a cover two and what you can expect from this from that kind of coverage those are the two coverages you're going to get like literally those are the two coverages that you're going to consistently get with this play and the man coverage as you saw if you wanted something a little bit better for man then you can run the tight end on this out route right here and then you could run the running back on like an in route or something you could do something like this as well you could go five out um if you the wheel route's very consistent against man too by the way but you to me, this right here is fine. You could also put that guy on the outside on a five yard in. Those five yard ins are a little better at beating man than drags are this year. Um, but anyways, you'll see the 30 yard cloud. You can see that he's gonna get over the top of it. You just wanna throw it right before he gets to the numbers. So kind of what my rule of thumb is like, once he passes, once once he passes the, the hash, um, then that's where I'm gonna throw this. Now, uh, one last defense I wanna talk about is a pressed quarter out of cover four i think it's important to talk about this as well one of the things you're going to notice is that with cover four you're going to see that this is actually going to get over the top of the cover four defense as well so it's not like a crosser where that quarter is going to kind of lurk right into the area of him it's actually going to get over the top consistently of a outside quarter zone which this is important to bring up because a lot of people have been utilizing cover four quarters um, or um, not even cover four quarters, but putting quarters on the field from other coverages to try to beat this. And you'll see again, you're just gonna pass lead it over the top of that quarter. That's gonna basically play it almost exactly like a 30 yard cloud will. So as you can see, this play is loaded. I did not even get to the wheel route. The wheel route is so good. Let me show you one other thing that you can do. So let's say that they're going to be committed to lurking over the middle with um, their middle linebacker and they're gonna try to use her this post route, okay? Something really important about man to man, I wanna show you something. You're gonna see here that they're going to man this guy up on the running back so that they can use her this guy or they're not gonna have anybody manned up on the running back whatsoever. The point is this wheel route has them out leveraged. And so what you'll see here is you can low ball this wheel route consistently. A lot of times what happens is and this is also something really important so a lot of times what happens in man to man especially if they're trying to defend trips you're going to get a coverage that looks essentially like this now that linebacker on the right is something that's really important to point out what happens with the uh with the, with the coverage because we are blocking the tight end one other thing you can do is you can drag this tight end if you want to and that tight end drag is very good for any kind of like max coverage with main coverage behind it. What you'll see is this outside linebacker will be in main coverage on the running back. What you can do is low ball inside. And again, if you have backfield mismatch or master, you're going to catch that every single time. So my point is they can, a lot of times they're not going to be able to cover the wheel route and the post without using one of those two. And it's going to leave the other one open. And then, like I said, you have your backside check down drag. This concept, I can't, I literally, if you run it and you master it, you can run this against anything and have success. So use this play, combine this with a lot of the stuff. One of the um, other really important things that I've come to learn about trips tight end this year, the inside zone is actually the best run in trips tight end. So you don't necessarily have to be like, oh, I really needed quick base. The way they stop quick base and the way they stop inside zone is almost exactly the same. And that's kind of why I personally shifted to the Detroit playbook because most people can't stop X spot when you run it this way. Um, it's one of the best routes in the entire game. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to, if you enjoyed the video, you want to check out more of my trip stuff, or if you want to just get better at Madden in general, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon. By joining, by becoming a member, you're going to get access to all of our Madden guides and all of our weekly uh, updates and tips and things like that. So if you want to check out some of that more exclusive high level stuff, there's a link in the description below. You can sign up today for just $10. If you want to go check it out, head on down to the description below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys uh, in our next video coming in a couple of hours. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.